Hello, my name is Krishna Agam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we'll be discussing about the hiring process of a data scientist and interns. Now, before going ahead to this particular video, guys, if you are looking for career transition advice towards data science, please make sure that you watch this particular video till the end. Uh, I'll be sharing some information, some, some very good uh, YouTube channel so that you can actually refer that. Now guys, uh, if you are looking towards the transition of data science, uh, the hiring process, you should basically know very, very clearly. Like how the hiring process goes on for a fresher, for some experienced people around two to five years, five plus years, you know, and 10 plus years for different, different roles. Now, if you know about data science, there are various roles like uh, you have, you know, data analyst, data scientist, interns, you know, then you have data scientists, then you have senior data scientists, lead data scientists, principal data scientists, and many more roles are there. So we'll try to understand what are the various uh, hiring process that usually happens. So initially I'll go ahead with interns. So usually what, what happens is that when you are in college in your final year and suppose you are looking for some placement opportunities or you want to go for some internship for some colleges, right? And when you apply in some colleges, the first thing for an intern is that if you want to work in data science, they'll give you a type of assignment in machine learning or deep learning. And they'll basically give you around two days time and they'll tell you that you have to submit that particular assignment with respect to any machine learning use case or deep learning use case to them. Now, once they, once you do that particular work within two days and then you submit them, what they do is that they verify the things, how you have written the code. And once that is done, they will actually approve it and they'll tell you that, yes, you can come for a face to face interview once. Then you will be having some technical discussion. And then if you're good at that, whatever work you have actually done in that particular project or the use case uh, that the company has basically given, if you have explained them properly with everything, they'll definitely give you a chance for the internship. Now internships are usually for around two to three months or uh, you know one to two months something like that right so after the internship what happens is that if the company likes your work they'll definitely hire you apart from that if you are in a final year and suppose you have just passed out of the college and you're still looking for data science role this is also the same process in most of the companies they will they will actually give you an aptitude test suppose if you are in colleges they'll actually give you aptitude test uh, you have to crack that aptitude test you know and then they'll move towards uh, some technical round with respect to data science where they'll give you a use case to solve and uh, you know they'll give you some amount of time then and there within that particular time if you are able to solve then they'll go then you go to the next round for the technical discussion and all now <clears throat> this is with respect to freshers and interns now with respect to some experienced people like somewhere around one to five years of uh, experience now guys uh, whatever i'm saying is based on my experience like how i i have been also been taking many interviews for different different people in the field of data science i've also been interviewed in many companies so i'll actually tell you in that particular way itself now uh, if you are experienced guy like between one to five years so usually in most of the companies they will not be such an aptitude test and all but yes uh, in some of the companies what they do is that they'll give you an assignment beforehand to solve something and they'll give you a one or two days time you know and then you have to submit that particular assignment to them now once you are able to do that once you're submitting the assignment if they like your uh, you know implementation of that particular machine learning problem they'll call you for the technical round now the technical round usually in some of the companies that i have seen is basically two technical rounds in the first technical round you know uh, a lead data scientist usually come or a senior data scientist usually come in order to you know ask you different different technical questions with respect to the kind of work that you do now i'll also give you the guidelines how you can crack the interview in data science also guys now initially when they are asking you some questions make sure the first question will be that tell me about yourself right and at that time you'll be introducing yourself and you'll be telling that you have worked in this particular thing in in other uh, uh, what all kind of work you have done in machine learning deep learning how you have done what are the challenges that you have faced make sure that when you are telling this right try to tell him try to tell the interviewer the things that you are very very good at you know like you are very good at that thing and anybody if they ask you this particular question you'll be able to answer that so you have to go in some flow and if you are able to go in that particular flow definitely the interviewer will be more keen to ask you questions on with respect to that particular topic and once you hear that particular topic and automatically you'll also be feeling confident because you have already worked onto that right so this is how it goes so once you go through this particular technique till the end and you tell him the things right and again i am telling you one of the very good quality 
to become a data scientist is that you need to be a good storyteller so when you are telling about your project you have to tell in such a way that you are actually explaining him from end to end you know and by that the interviewer will also get the context about the work that you have actually done so this is very very much important guys you have to be a good storyteller you have to tell in that particular pattern so that he understands and suppose if there are some questions that you don't know you know they are I, i'll not say that you have to know everything in machine learning and deep learning if you don't know it's a, it is fine you tell them that you tell him that you have never worked on that so definitely he'll also consider that particular point also so make sure that you be a good storyteller tell all the things that you have actually worked on you are very good at you know prepare your talking skills in that particular way it will be definitely helpful now once you are able to clear your first technical round there will be the second technical round where a senior manager you know the project manager or usually the director comes and talks to you he understands like what you are actually interested in if you are able to create uh, i mean clear the first uh, technical round and apart from that the implementation that they had given in the first time so i think the second round will be easily be able to clear it because there the the talk will be with respect to the project what kind of work you will be doing the 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 technical manager or the director will be actually explaining you about it and definitely if you are able to do this you will be able to clear the interviews now for the people who are or uh, above 5 plus years because uh, for above 5 plus years they go to some senior data scientist position or lead data scientist position and when i talk about more than 8 years 8 plus years of uh, experience you usually go as lead data scientist or principal data scientist now in this there will probably be three technical interview rounds okay they will not be anything like uh, they'll, they'll, they'll they'll not give you a problem statement that tell you to solve then and there but instead they'll focus on what are the different different projects that you have implemented they'll try to drill with respect to each and every concept that is basically presented in your resume right about nlp suppose if, if you have written about machine learning in machine learning you have used this algorithm you have used auto ml you have used s2o.ai you have used deep learning techniques where you have used uh, faster rcn and so all these particular techniques if you have written in your resume they'll try to deep dive into each and every topic the interviewer will be pretty much interested to understand what work you have actually done how you have actually uh, you know improved the business what profit you have actually made what are the things uh, that you have actually automated in your company and many more things right and that depends on the type of projects that you are basically doing now this particular round is very very important when i say three technical rounds because the first round will basically be taken by a lead data scientist the second round will be going with respect to a principal data scientist and the third round will be with respect to the higher management and again guys uh, there will be one final hr round that uh, that nobody can stop because that round is final round over there but i'm just concerned about the three technical part you know once you are able to clear the interview in uh, technical interview then definitely the hr will be the last round over there so in the first round what will happen is that they'll try to understand about your project what kind of work you have done they'll ask you most of the technical questions about machine learning algorithm about deep learning algorithms what are the challenges that you have faced how you have basically implemented it what is the team size that you have basically managed how many people were there in your team and all these different kind of questions now once you clear this and probably a lead data scientist will be taking care of that if you go to the next technical round this technical round for this uh, i mean for the people who are more than 5 plus years it will be little bit difficult because the principal data scientist will be taking up and he'll be trying to understand with respect to the complete project overview you know from the data collection stage how you have actually collected data he may also ask you some of the big data concept because that is also very very much important and if you are applying for a role of lead data scientist or principal data scientist or a senior data scientist you need to have some amount of knowledge for that so he will be try to understand or drill down all the modules of the life cycle of a data science project in each and every part what are the challenges that you faced and this this second round will be the most toughest round what i feel for 5 plus years of experience because there the principal data scientist will be drilling you down completely you know he will try to understand it because for the position that you are going it is a very responsible position you know there will be people who will be under you you have to also help them so you should be a much Uh, having that capability to do handle so many people at a particular project and again there are a lot of technical questions that come up um, with respect to a project whenever you are working on you should also be able to answer that for your juniors and all yes then after that uh, once you clear that particular round you, you go to the director round director will again be explaining you they'll just ask you okay what are your 
any any questions that you basically have with respect to the projects uh, so you you will probably ask that what are the kind of work that you'll do then he'll completely explain you like what are the things that yeah, he will basically be giving you what are the activities that you'll be doing and definitely after that particular talk uh, i think the next last round is basically the hr round now guys uh, again i've just told a hiring process of a data scientist but there are some very very key important points that you have to put in your resume now with respect to data science there are some very very important topics that you have to always mention you have to always mention in your resume so first is with respect to the machine learning right in machine learning try to make sure that you put different different algorithms not simple algorithms and you also try to put all the hyperparameter uh, uh, you know hyperparameter tuning techniques like using gris search cv randomized search cv auto ml because that is also a very important uh, part in any any data science project okay now when you have put that you know when you have put that also make sure that you put some amount of information regarding natural language processing about uh, principal component analysis all the different techniques of dimensionality reduction all this particular stuff has to be put and i know many people have learned that try to apply that in your project whenever you can it will also be very very helpful for you and the other thing that you can also put in your resume is uh, related to the database information if you have worked on hadoop you have, if you have some basic knowledge about that just an overview about databases uh, and for experienced people i think you need to put some abundant amount of information regarding databases the whole pipeline of data science life cycle and make sure that guys you you whatever you are writing in your resume is the truth thing otherwise if you are not able to answer that definitely that will put a negative impression about you so now if you are looking towards the transition towards data science and you also want to know who are working in different different IT companies and solving different different projects there is a very good channel called as springboard india please go and look at that particular channel the link is basically given in the description so yes this was all about this particular video i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all